What is going on guys? It's Real Touch GML here back with another Game Maker Studio tutorial. And today what we're going to be doing is looking at creating an advanced lighting system for your game. Now, advanced is in the title, but this is actually a very very simple way of doing it. Yet it is a very very effective way of doing it, right? So, what you're seeing on the screen now is actually a game that I am in production with right now, and I actually use this exact lighting system within my game. Right, so if you like the effect that it brings out, then go ahead and keep watching this video because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Now, the reason I like this lighting system is because it transitions flawlessly into uh, each light point, right? So you know you can have a you can have two light points right next to each other and they will transition right into uh, right into each other flawlessly. So that's why I like it. So let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing you're going to need is a sprite. Now I'm going to put a download link in the description to download this sprite here. And you're going to need this and this is called SBR underscore light. I went ahead and centered the origin. So go ahead and download this and uh, come right back, add it into your, into your project and then we can continue. Alright, so with this we're only going to need a total of two objects. We're going to need obj underscore light and we're going to need obj underscore control or whatever you want to call it this is really going to control the surfaces that we this is basically controlling the entire surface at which we draw our light onto all right so let's start with the light the light is very simple we're just going to go into the create event here and we're going to put in some code and we're just basically going to initialize the variable uh, light size and this is going to be what it says our light size so you can put it to whatever you'd like I'm just gonna like I'm gonna put it at six because that's kind of the size I like and then we're gonna say light strength and this is going to be basically the alpha of our light so you know zero to one is where you want to put it at. I'm just gonna put it at one because I I want the uh, the actual light to work you know be an actual light all right so that's all we really need for our obj light so it's pretty simple so let's go into our control here, and this is where it's going to get a little bit more complex, but I'm pretty sure you can still uh, uh, follow along and handle it, right? So here we're just going to create a surface. So we're going to say surf equals surface create. And here we're just going to put our room width and our room height. So basically, if you're not familiar with surfaces, what this is doing is basically saying, okay, our surface, anything outside of our room width and room height, our light is not really going to work in. Um, so if you want that to be bigger than your room width, then you're going to have to manually put in those uh, those numbers there, and, or you know, multiply your room width by two or something like that. But anything outside of our room width and room height, we're not going to be able to see our light, and uh, which is fine for us because we're never going to see outside of our room width and room height. All right, and then we're just gonna put something called surf scale, and this is going to be equal to one eighth. Now we're just this is just basically something uh, we're gonna be scaling our light to the appropriate size of the room, right? So I would just put that put that at one eighth, and uh, you should be good. All right, so now let's go into our draw event, and I'll pop in some code here. And here again, it's pretty simple. Uh, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to say surface set target. And we're going to put in our surf variable there for surface. And obviously, this speaks for what it does. We're basically saying, all right, we're going to be working with the surface we just created, which is surf. All right. Then we are going to draw clear C underscore black. All right. And before we get into our OBJ light, we're just going to say surface reset target. And here we're just going to draw the surface. So draw surface. And we're going to draw it extended, right? So our ID is going to be our surf, right? Our our X and Y is going to be zero, zero, because we want it to start on the top left. And our scale is going to be one over our surface scale. And one over our surface scale as well for our Y. All right, our rotation is going to be zero. Our color is going to be C white, and our alpha is going to be one. So this right here is basically the background at which uh, our light is going to be uh, displayed on. So if you don't want it pitch black and you still kind of want to see through it, you can put that to like 0 0.5 or something like that. 
uh, but that's just um, that's just basically you know drawing that blackness to our screen now uh, it, what you're seeing right here is basically how I did my night system was I just basically set that to an alpha variable and I can now fluctuate that alpha variable and that can change it from day to night sort of you know looking like that all right so in between those two things all we have to do is say with our light so basically every light that's in the game it's going this it's gonna run through all the lights in the game and run through this code so we're just going to draw a blend mode set blend mode and here we're going to say BM underscore SRC underscore color and then uh, let's just set blend mode back to normal here so BM normal because you always want to once you anytime you change a light or you change a uh, blend mode or anything like that you always want to set it back to what it was beforehand or else you're gonna get some weird problems in the future all right so here all we're gonna do is we're gonna say draw underscore sprite underscore ext and we're gonna draw our SPR light with the sub image of zero and here all we have to do is just say X multiplied by other dot surf scale okay y times other dot surf scale and here for our light scale we're gonna say light size times other dot surf scale and we need to say other because we're actually within our light this is exactly this right here with obj light is basically the same exact thing as going into our, our light draw event and draw and doing all this code here so that's why we need to say other so it refrains back to our control object all right so for our y scale we're going to do the same thing light size uh, times other dot surf scale and our rotation is going to be zero our color is going to be c white and our alpha is going to be our light strength. Oops. There we go. Simple as that. So go ahead and look at that code. If you need to go back in the video, go ahead and do so now. And uh, that actually we should be good. So let's go ahead and create a room. Let me put in my control. Let me put in my light. We can put the light anywhere we'd like in the room. And let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. And as you can see, we now have a light in the center of the room, which is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, it kind of fades out and does the whole the whole light thing, right? So, uh, you know, let's go into the control real quick and let's do key press space. And this is just for debugging purpose, uh, uh, debugging uh, purposes. So don't do this. This is just for me to show you uh, what the light can do. So room height. And our obj underscore light so now when I press the space key we can create more lights in the room and show how it can seamlessly uh, go into each other so as you can see I'm creating more lights and it's looking pretty cool so that's all the lights in our room here and we still have you know all that fun stuff so if you guys want to know how to do the flickering effect which is pretty simple actually go into our light and go into the step event here and all we basically need to do is change the size of our light okay so here I can just put like uh, create a temporary variable like Z and we'll equal that to choose uh, 0 0.1 or negative 0 0.1 or 0 and then we can just say light size plus equals Z um, and then what we can do is we can say light size equals clamp light size six and eight so basically what this does is saying okay if say for example our our light size is at six and it hits that negative Z hits that negative one again we don't really want it to go under six or whatever you'd like that is going to be our minimum value light size and eight is going to be our maximum value light size so we can kind of control what our light does while it's still kind of being a random flicker which is pretty cool so as you can see it's now flickering like a light would 
and you can see we can add more lights here and it's looking pretty cool so there we go that's going to be the tutorial for today go leave a like go and subscribe let's try and head for 100 likes this time if we can if you like this video uh, be sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe if you found this helpful and uh, I will see you guys next time peace